Right, let me get this right. Pered, pered, yeah, pered, yeah, pered, yeah. Anyway, welcome to Cycling Tips. Welcome to another episode of the Pain Cave Playlist. And I got a superstar today. One that um, I didn't expect to get. We were going to stick with riders on this series, but when you get the guitarist from Pendulum agreeing to chit chat about bikes and music, you do not say no. Peredia Agwenif, have I got this one right? You Hello. Love, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Dave? <laughs> Very good. Now, people are going to be like, why Why the why the guitarist from Pendulum? Yeah. Because you're a massive cycling fan. And for those people not outside of, uh, for those people outside of Wales, I should say, you're also a commentator, aren't you? For the Tour de France and the Giro d'Italia. So a friend of mine who used to saw, see my Twitter um, post said, he works for a production company in Wales. said, listen, uh, we're, we're putting a pitch together for, to go and get the Tour de France on telly in Wales, in Welsh. Um, could we put your name against it? I was like, yeah, all right, yeah, okay. So he phoned me back about six weeks later. I said, remember that chat we had? I said, yeah. Uh, oh, we got it. What are you doing in July? It's like, oh, actually, I'm on tour, but, but I'll work it out. And we worked it out so that, that I was um, going from the Tour de France to uh to my gigs and, and and so 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 and so forth so that was the first one and this year will be the eighth all right then what what are your credentials then for being a commentator clearly i can see a bike poking its head out amongst the gold discs there's a platinum <laughs> um, one there as well when i look to things come on yeah, what are your credentials the, cycling credentials um i've never raced i can't race obviously because um, kind of the collarbone is quite important for a guitarist, and especially as the uh, the strap goes over uh, the coll- yeah. collarbone. Uh, you don't that's my like excuse. That. <laughs> yeah, so that's my excuse. I'm not good enough to race anyway. But yeah, I just love it. It's my. It's what I enjoy doing the most, basically. It's like so when I'm off on tour, I take my bike with me. It's kind of like it's like Prozac on wheels, really, you because know, you know. When I start pedaling, a smile comes on my face, you know, and it's brilliant, especially if you're touring. It's it's not the sort of thing you expect uh, rock stars to be doing in between gigs. We have all, all the other stories, throwing TVs out of windows and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. Uh, it's still time. Expensive. <laughs> yeah. Well, not at the moment there is because we're not nobody's touring. But uh, yeah, I, I think when we start touring, I just might go all out and chuck everything out the bloody window you know uh, no but it's yeah it's something that i just obviously loved doing and it's been so much it's so good to just because being on stage is amazing it's the best thing in the world but the the bits in between are really boring uh you know just hanging around so i decided to make it a lot more interesting by um cycling so that's one thing i did about started about 12 years ago was um I looked at our, at our itinerary. This is before I got married, by the way. Uh, I looked at my itiner- itinerary, and there was a gig in uh, Zurich. Um, and a week later, there was a gig in Saint Nazaire uh, on, on the west coast of France. So I looked at it. I went, right. So I told my tour manager. He said, "I said, you see those two gigs?" He went, "Yeah." Oh, well, I'm going to go cycle from one to the other. So um, I did that in about six days. I think it's about, it's over a thousand kilometers. So I was doing 160, 170 K a day. Uh, wow. Just to, just to get to the next gig. I, I, I was at the door of the hotel. The guys were getting back into the, into the, into their tour bus. And I'm just setting off in my Lycra. And they were looking at me just like, what that mad sod doing here? So, um, yeah, so I, I do that type of stuff whenever I can. And, and funny enough, I got there before them, a day before them. <laughs> Let's talk 2014 Tour de France. You've done, what, eight, you say now? Eight eight grand yeah, tours. Eight. What's that like, uh, covering a race compared to, yeah, doing gigs and stuff? Because uh, obviously I've been to a few Tour de France myself yeah. and it is manic. There's, there is a, a not a lot of downtime. It's it's quite similar, to tell you the truth. It's... Um, you got show time, and then you have got the travelling to you know you you know yourself how much travelling there is uh, at the top. Loads. It's 
it's ridiculous, especially if you're working in the media, because you've got to get there a certain time. You've got to be in the in the zone technique in the compound at a certain time, or um, and, and then it's just lots and lots of traveling. So it's very very similar. Uh, apart from the music, there's no music. Yeah, so it's very similar because you're constantly on the road. And you're going from one spot to the other, to the other, to the other. So it's very, very similar. All right, let's 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 go through a bit of a playlist. What do you listen to when you're riding, whether it's on the, the home trainer doing Zwift or or out on the bike? Do you listen to music out on the bike? Do you need to? I don't listen, weirdly enough, because I don't listen to that much music at home anyway, because my job is music. So when I'm not doing music, uh, I, you know, I want to give my ears a little bit of a rest, you know, just to hear nothing basically we're not going to get a pain cave playlist out of you then are we (laughs) oh oh, no no i will i've got a load of tunes out uh, (laughs) nothing to get you fired up getting out the door do you need something to get you fired up and getting out the door not really no because it's just like being like i said it's just a couple of pedals on a smile it's like yeah come on let's go you say you've got plenty of mates in the peloton as well now Who's the who's the music heads that you've come across? There's quite a few of them. The, uh, I think um, the reason uh, Lucas put us in was he might be a drum and bass head because he's Austrian, <laughs> and Austrians <laughs> love dr- drum and bass. It's huge. Aust- uh, drum and bass is huge in Austria for some reason. Or Daniel lost uh, uh, told him about us because Daniel's a mate of mine. So uh, so it's, I, it's, I, I'm not sure how, but one of those two things, either Os. Or um, or him being Austrian, I think, um, and then Jacopo Guarnieri as well is uh, loves his music. Um, uh, Steve Cummings, massive electro electronic music uh, fan, you know. Yeah, and somebody else, uh, you know, Gustav Larsson, um, uh, the Swedish rider, ex um, uh, Swedish time trial champion, second sure, in Beijing. Surely he's into uh, death metal then. <laughs> when, uh, Gustav is into like proper crass, classic rock. He's into he's a ser- he's a serious nerd when it comes to hi fi's and electronics. Uh, his hi fi at home is all valves and tubes and stuff. It's like wow, it's a serious bit of kit. And uh, he, he keeps on sending me. Well, just recently, he's made his own guitar amplifier. He's, he's learning to play guitar. By the way. He's made his own guitar amplifier and, ma- and made his own fuzz box uh, distortion pedal um, from scratch. Like he'll get a circuit board and he'll solder it all together and put it all together. He's amazing. Now, yeah. Have you come yeah. across any cycling fans in the rock world, in the music world, people that we may not be aware of? Kraftwerk, of course. They're famous for their cycling. Uh, uh, and they used to, the tour bus used to drop them off like 100k up away from a gig and they'll cycle they'd cycle that's kind of where i got the idea from and um but neil peart um he, sadly he's died now um he's a drummer in a band called rush yeah. it's one of my favorite bands and um he used to do the same so there's a bunch of us out there that that do that you know i think the drummer from keen he uh he does he's um keen cyclist and he's also uh, he does a lot of stewarding and stuff in, in races, in, in, in uh, British cycling races. All right, I'm, I'm going to let you go. I'm gonna, I've got a shed ton of footage here. This is fantastic. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to take me a long, da- long time to cut this one down, that's for sure. <laughs> no worries, mate. It's been really interesting talking, insightful, and I, I've got to thank you for spending some time with us. That's, that's been absolutely superb. Oh, thank you for asking. It's, it's, well, chuffed you ask, actually. Uh, thank you for watching me talk rubbish. Um, please like, subscribe. There are buttons underneath my fingers and uh, join the conversation. Thank you. <laughs>